Welcome to Court Killers, the full experience where we take the greatest television shows of all time. We watch the first, the ultimate, the lowest rated, and the last episode to get a slice of the full experience of watching the series. I'm Tom Merritt. He's Brian Brushwood. Oh, man, I, I, I love everything about this formula. I love being able to say, yeah, I pretty much watched that. Uh, give or take. <laughs> you ever watch this? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, no, I, pretty I, much. I got I the mean, full experience. The best episode is obviously this one. <laughs> but have uh, you ever seen this one? Because that one's the worst. <laughs> okay. So speaking of which, Tom, uh, we have- are we are wrapping it up. Battlestar Galactica, the reboot, uh, last episode, season four, episode twenty one, part three of Daybreak. We did not watch parts one and two. We just jumped right. To part three, uh, and it is uh, one of the most critiqued, is that the right word, uh, season finales of any of the most beloved shows. Battlestar Galactica is a beloved series, but people really like to pick apart this finale. Uh, uh, In the running, alongside this one, I would put The End of Lost... But here's something I could say about Lost. While I disagreed with their decisions, I understood what they were saying. There was an awful lot that made no sense. Uh, I guess I guess Chief went and invented Scotland. Did you pick up on that part? <laughs> I did. I have that in my notes, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What did I write? I wrote, um, so Chief founded Scotland. <laughs> yeah. Um the well uh I guess also uh, a lot of character uh, uh, also the president somehow got like much younger over the uh, 8 years of the show running. Did she start she did her hair differently. Maybe that's why she looks uh, younger. I don't know. Uh, her, her uh let me say that maybe it was just good living but her skin became very smooth over the course of that's this. That's the that's the cancer. <laughs> <laughs> that's the cylon blood that she used yeah um uh part of me wants to spend half of our time just just crapping on this and then but another part of me wants to sincerely say and yet i spent 20 minutes crying today and yes they were cheap pops of like giant narrative moments that didn't need to take so long. Uh, oh my God. I, I still cried. <laughs> I wrote, uh, this episode is long. That was my second to last note uh, <laughs> of this. Uh, I also, I also teared up. I, there are some really good moments. Uh, I love that final Adama or uh, yeah. yeah, Adama Starbuck uh, moment. You know, what do you oh, hear? Oh, Starbuck? Leah Dama. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, no. Uh, 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 okay. Admiral, Admiral, the Admiral Adama. What do you hear, Starbuck? Nothing but the rain. Well, uh, uh, fine, fine callback, I believe. Um, but, but uh, uh, the part that got also, me was. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. What part? Oh, I, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, just getting in a car, looking for a place to build a log cabin, and yes. you know, the Adama just, Laura scene in the plane. Uh, I, got it. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. I got a little chill just just thinking about it again. Turns out you can do some very slow, sloppy storytelling and still make Brian cry. So good yeah. job. Uh, you can you can still punch Ronald with a scene like that. Uh, on, on a less tearful note, I loved seeing Apollo and the lawyer again. <laughs> Leah Dama and the lawyer. The ba- badger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we just we just seen Badger two episodes of our two episodes of our viewing ago. Um, too many f- quote unquote flashbacks, which I know weren't all flashbacks. But I, well, 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 just, or, or, or at least like, you know, pre story, like this is how they first yeah. met that time. And, yeah. I, and I, I, to, to be honest, if, if it's OK with you, Tom, I, I would like to bring Amos in now. Yeah, because I can't imagine what this Please. 
what this bizarre collage looked like to somebody I, who's only seen another three note other I episodes. Have was, <laughs> I felt like knowing some of what happened in the entire series, because I've watched the entire series before, might have been worse than not having seen any of it because it's so <laughs> disconnected. Uh, Amos, can you judge that for us? It You'll need to dis- unmute. Okay, here we go. It was definitely dis- disconnected. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, like going in, um, uh, as I said before, I didn't watch any of the previously on or anything else. I just went straight into the episode and no clue what was going on. They had a body in some water and like there was some <laughs> somebody was poking somebody out because of something they saw. And like you it, did get Dean seemed, Stockwell, though. That was fun. It, 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 it seemed like there was a great story to be told and they cut it short and then they kind of went and they ended up on on Earth. Too? Yeah, but but also they made sure to undercut that part and be like, well, you know, the first Earth, and then I guess what they, I guess we're calling this one Earth as well. I'm like, I'm just like, were, were, were there stakes anywhere in this series? Right. Like, and, and, and and also, how the, many how many of those blonde women are there? Because it seems like there's like five. I don't I don't know. There's a future one. There's a real one. That that's one, one that you what need. If you on? had watched the whole series, it would have made more sense. There are many copies of Cylons. Uh, well, but, but, yeah, but I, I, I think what like, I, I think what Amos is talking about is is the fact that they had a special place for what they called head six. Like yes, there are multiple six models, right. uh, but only one lives in Gaius Baltar's head as this kind of like supernatural entity that maybe is he's making up. And then well, and I forgot we had another a version Gaius of six too. Exactly. They introduced that on, on there. Look, uh, Amos, uh, unlike Badger, I'm not going to defend any of this, <laughs> but I just want to hear all of your questions. <laughs> what was going on with the, with the person in the pool? Like, I don't, I don't understand what, what what was going on there. They were talking about resurrection. What is this resurrection? Is that a ship? Is that a process? He was, was the magical there? Cylon who had the answers. Cool. He, he knew where real <laughs> Earth was. <laughs> I, I, I didn't. I didn't like. What was up with old girl disappearing as as Leah Dama and her are walking along and he's talking to her and suddenly she's just gone. Well, like what was that wait, about? Wait, as we explained, Amos, <laughs> she definitely, <laughs> definitely died, and they went out of their way to say that she's definitely dead, which made it surprising when she came back. Which makes you wonder if maybe there's something to there's this whole God thing. That she vanished <laughs> so, because they right. went out of their way to show like, like, unless she was wearing a ghillie suit over, <laughs> over that hillock, I don't see where Starbuck went. <laughs> like, uh, right. Was she a shared illusion? Because both she just Adama quick. Are. She like, just quick. That's all. No, <laughs> no I, I'm, I'm sorry, Tom. I'm on Davis's side here. I can't. There, there are parts I can. Who defend. makes your admi- coffee faster? <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a, a, a lot of things. Like I thought, uh, I thought the one lady was a Cylon, but then she had a kid. Like, are they, are they? There is a Cylon kid. Uh, yeah. Like, no, that's. But she was a Cylon, and they did have a kid. Yeah. And awesome. all Cylons are that kid's parent. <laughs> Takes a village. Oh, oh my God. No. And they, they, they made the bold decision to, this time, we won't make robots. And we won't use a heavy-handed montage metaphor at the end showing 20, 2008 uh, robots. <laughs> but we yeah. will make sure to give Ronald D. Moore a cameo at the newsstand. <laughs> um. I, I I don't know. I don't know. Look, uh, I try to be kind to Hollywood. It's a miracle that anything ever gets made at all. That's true. <laughs> yeah. And it's you know what? Cr- Not all of us are obligated to land gracefully. <laughs> Finales are hard. I think that's one of the things we're learning with the full experience is uh, you, 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 have a challenge when wrapping up a series to please the fans and end the story. And the thing we have to remember, especially these days is 
for 98% of television's history, you never knew when your finale was coming. You were going from season to season with the idea that, well, if we get renewed, we'll keep telling this story. If not, we'll have to wrap it up. So you can't do the things you do in a book or a movie and plot out a nice, wonderful arc, uh, which makes it even harder to wrap up a story um, like Battlestar Galactica didn't <laughs> in this case. Well, well, uh, 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 let me offer a weak defense of one of the last scenes that we saw um, with the the head six and the head Gaius. Um, it felt to me reminiscent of of uh, 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 what was the. Uh, uh, what was the oh, dunk on it to the angel and the devil one? Uh, oh, um, yeah, that one. Yeah, it felt a little bit like that. And I kind of <laughs> liked it just ahead of its time. Probably not a great recommendation that neither of us can remember the name. Of. Crowley is the demon. <laughs> but what's the name of the freaking show? Supernatural. Good omens. <laughs> good omens. Thank you. Oh, oh that's uh, it, it. Felt a little bit good omensy. Yeah, which I was okay uh, with. That's interesting. Okay, but, I hadn't but, thought about but, that. But of course, good omens is intentionally playful, and this was intentionally nine eleven. Uh, so I, I, uh, it was a bit of yeah. a mis mismatch there. I have one other minor question. Is it okay if I I put it? This this is a minor plot point, and. Trust me, I understand that there are truck-sized plot holes uh, that are bigger than this one. But it bugged me, and I don't know why. W why was everyone clear that Adama wasn't coming back? Like, he had a ship. <laughs> and a dying girlfriend. And he died, and I figured, like, oh, well, when your girlfriend dies, you can just come find us. We'll be here. Like, why wouldn't he have come back to visit? I mean... I think he was essentially announcing his suicide, basically. Like, hey, I'm it done. It didn't feel that I way, though. That, I thought that way, too. But then he builds a, 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 a hut. And again. he sticks around. Right. And, is like, and talks, talks to the grave that he built. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, and he has the ship. So even that was unfulfilling. I like, know that. that <laughs> I, is all right. He all right. Hold on. I think you, the you answer know what? Let's, is. Let's, let's the, go deeper the, on this. <laughs> No, the answer is early in the show, they say we'll destroy all of the technology so that it doesn't pollute the existing population. And I think we're supposed to take like, I'm going to fly far away and build a cabin and then destroy this ship so you will never see me. Maybe I'm dumb, but I would have just liked that. Like, oh, right, because you're going to destroy that ship, right? Cool. I'm sure he meant to get around to destroying it, Tom. <laughs> It's he had a lot of talking to a grave to do. If they had just showed him like burning her body on the ship while he burned the ship, I would have been like, oh, right, because they have to destroy all the technology. But I don't know. It felt, felt weird that he's like, I'm going and you won't see me. And they're all like, oh, yeah, that's right. Because that's what happens. I will say that uh, I could get the <laughs> sense that they were destroying the technology and they didn't want to carry any of it forward in hopes that it wouldn't relapse into the same cycle or whatever else. But at the same time, I was watching it like you're going to a you got you you've got cigarettes and you're going to go to a new planet and just not take anything with you, like <laughs> you're just, you're just gonna, what? go hunt with like Chuck and Spears. Like what? It, what like why, although I, why I, would I, you go? I, 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 I that far back. <laughs> I will give shouts out to Adama's response to Gaius Baltar saying, uh, "I bet, I bet we can have sex with them." <laughs> <laughs> you also have no sense of humor, Doctor. Uh, Wait, yeah. It's, uh, um. Uh, I, look. Well, it's, there, it's, there were, it's, here's the thing too. Like, I took them saying this is an earth as a mistake right like is it starbuck who enters the 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 code that gets him there mm -hmm. yeah right? because because she took the notes from the bob dylan song and uh, i think what they're what they're trying to say is well there's no possible way this could be earth because uh this doesn't have any technology and and we we don't we didn't have uh you know uh, naked bath boys information so we sure found a great place we'll just call it earth anyway and i thought the subtle implication is no this is earth 
And possibly they got sent back in time because of the space hole or they were wrong about Earth being technological or whatever, uh, but that this was in fact Earth and they were just mistaken in thinking it wasn't. Uh, I, oh, man. There's some time loop. No, I, I, I look, look, look. You're you're causing me to become Badger, and I have to defend. Something Ronald I don't D. Want Ronald to defend. D. Moore loves it. Like he does Outlander, right? Like he does Voyager with all their time travel episodes. Like he loves a time loop. It's got to be. It's got to be it. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, 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 the original Battlestar Galactica began with a uh, saucy voiceover where it was like. Uh, this is at the peak of uh, uh, chariots of the gods, and in late yeah. 1970s, right. uh, aliens were here. Uh, they begin with the phrase, and there's a reason that all of their costumes are look like pharaohs or whatever, right. uh, or Egyptians or whatever. Uh, but but the phrase is: there are some out there who believe that life here began out there. Out there. So, so uh, I, 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 I don't think there's any time loop. I don't know. I, uh, uh. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, good show. <laughs> I guess, I guess like somehow I like it less, the more we talk about it. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, <laughs> but this, uh, finale, this finale got me excited for sliders. That's what happened. It got me excited for windows 98. <laughs> Because that wallpaper that they were walking through is, yeah, it's, a, it's pretty, very pretty. Could hear hear Madonna. Like, I, 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 I just feel like like I want to talk about it more, but I feel like nothing good's gonna come out of my face. If, I know. If. But here's the problem: there are good moments in this episode, and the series itself was great. Uh, yes, but it is unfortunately. Uh, one of those situations where the good moments are hard to say anything other than like, man, that scene between Laura and Adama in the plane, huh? Right. And they don't connect to anything else in this episode. And the episode doesn't connect well to the rest of the series. So you're left going, well, let's make fun of the fact that it looked like a Windows wallpaper screen. Which, and Which I and don't that's necessarily really want to do, but, but, but I will agree I, I had a strong feeling of like, oh, a lot of hard left turns happened when I wasn't looking. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. Like, like a lot of things changed. Uh, I'll, I'll fi- here's I'll finish on a positive. My last note. Uh, I loved that they did an echo of the original Battlestar theme early early yeah. on in the episode. That was that was that was nice. That was a nice I li- piece. I like the first time they did it though, where they made it a fanfare. I'm a... finishing on a positive. That's okay. All, all right. right. <laughs> That's all thank, I got to thank, say. Thank you, Ronald D. Moore. <laughs> yeah. Mostly. Thank you. That's, that's a good, that's a good positive. Like, like despite any shortcomings we, we may perceive oh, uh, man, you overall, to, this we, we been... almost ended on a good, 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 good. Okay. Thank you, Ronald D. Moore. Good night, everybody. Uh, <laughs> we'll be back next time with sliders. We begin the full experience over again, like sliders beginning an adventure in an alternate reality. Uh, so we will be watching pilot. See, for once, we just got a pilot. No weird TV movies or anything to deal with. Uh, the first episode of season one, episode one, pilot from Sliders. That will begin the full experience. If you'd like to know, uh, Ultimate is season two, episode eight, post-traumatic slide syndrome. Lowest is season five, episode eight, the Java Jive. And the last episode is season five, 18, the Seer. That all begins with pilot on the next full experience. We will talk to you then.